Alright, here we are. We're in test mode in a 2005 Ford F-150 FX4. You can see that the digital readout doesn't quite match the analog instrument for both the TAC and the electronic speed readout, which is kind of strange. But I've seen, I know that happens to pretty much all instrument clusters, for them to be off a little bit. I'm not sure exactly why. You can do a gate sweep while you're driving. Here's the digital speedometer. You can see how they don't quite match up. And if you press the button again, it'll say speed M for speed metric. And right now it's in speed E, which is speed English measure. And then the next function after this is the tachometer. I'm on like the bumpiest road in the world. I probably really shouldn't be filming right now, but oh well. Or should I say recording a video? Filming makes it sound like I'm, some, I'm my grandmother. Who doesn't even know what a memory card is, but that's okay. <laughs> Another old person thing, saying we when you're going around a corner at 10 miles an hour. God. Don't worry, I'm not a fan of Buick yet, because I'm not an old person quite yet. And I don't know how to crochet either. Okay, here's the tag again.
but yeah, you can run through all the features right while you're driving down the road, and as, again, you saw earlier, even the gauge sweep. Because I also read online that engineering mode, there's no possible way you can mess your car up. The only thing it is is an electronic display of what the onboard diagnostics computer um, is able to read. So that's all it is, is a display. You cannot screw the vehicle up at all by using it. Here I'm going to do a full throttle uh, 30 to 50 kick down, so you can see the digital tack go through to the red line, getting a, a more precise red line reading. It didn't co cooperate with me. I thought I was going to do a first gear kick down. But if you look at my other video, it's about 5200 RPM. It'll shift at, the, at its red line, full throttle, out of first gear.